What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. So patch 243 is just around the corner, scheduled to be released on the 22nd of June. The next update has a whole load of new features, items and mechanics that we're all excited to see. First up, let's talk about the new dinosaur that's getting added into the latest patch, the Titanosaur. This is the biggest creature ever to be added into the game. Its size will make it a formidable dino to encounter in the wild. The dossier states that the Titanosaur is a herbivore, which is passive unless it is approached. The Titanosaur is essentially a walking mountain. It is an absolutely enormous sauropod which has developed armoured plate of bone protrusions all over its body. Looking at the Titanosaur, it actually does look like a mountain. As you can see, it's got all these bones on its back, I'm going to call them rocks because they look like rocks, they look more like rocks than they do bone. So I'm going to call them rocks. This is a walking mountain and the back of it is all white, I like the white patterning, it kind of reminds me of snow, as if it had like some sort of snowy mountain or if it was so tall that it managed to get cold enough on its back and its neck to, to actually get snow there in amongst all the rocks and stuff on its back. So it states that the Titanosaur is immune to basically every single narcotic effect. There is no way of knocking this guy out with narcotics of any kind. No dinos can do it. No narcotic um, grenades or any sort of weapon that you normally use to take down the dinosaur. None of that will do it. I have read somewhere before. I'm not sure if it was on Reddit or maybe it's in this dossier somewhere further on. I'll have to have a look in a minute. But I have heard that you can knock it out with a catapult. Apparently, firing rocks from a catapult into the head of the Titanosaur, or anywhere really, will give it a torpor effect and eventually knock it out. And apparently that's the only effective way of knocking it out, but I'm not too sure on that, so don't quote me. So, the Titanosaur actually has issues when it comes to personal space. Unlike the Bronto, if you go near the Bronto, it will kindly just ignore you if you're like running around near it. But the Titanosaur, if you do approach a certain range, it will become aggressive and start attacking you. And to be honest, I do not want to be near this thing when it is aggressive. Even if I have flak armor on, from the sheer force and size of this thing, I'm definitely sure that I would not survive a hit from this. The Titanosaur also eats constantly, which certainly helps recover health quickly, even after fighting off numerous carnivores such as the Giganotosaurus. After seeing the Titanosaur in the spotlight, and seeing how big it is compared to the Brontos and other dinosaurs, I'm pretty sure that this thing is going to be so much more powerful than a Giganotosaurus. A Giga is going to get absolutely destroyed by this thing, I can just see it now. You may think Gigas are powerful, it's obviously they're really, they have a lot of damage and a lot of health, but this thing can crush an entire house with its foot. That's how big it is. It is so big it can crush an entire house with its foot, and you can build a super fortress on the back of it. That is just insane. Now, comparing that to the Giga, this thing's going to have so much firepower, because it's going to have obviously itself, the body of the dinosaur as an attack and defense. As well as that, it's going to have a massive base on the back of it with numerous turrets, catapults, ballistas, anything really, a whole load of tribe mates on the back. It's going to cause so much damage. It's definitely going to change the way war works and PvP on official servers or any server really. It's definitely going to be a game changer. It's going to, you know, bring in so many new tactics into raiding and just the way you live on Ark in general. The Titanosaur, for all its sheer size, is a bit overkill for any lone rider. So, any elite tribes that are on servers, I do play a PvP server, I have stated this before in previous videos, but I do play one. I have a good friend who is in a tribe with about 15 members. They are very, very good at the game. They played a lot more than me. I don't really play on that server too much anymore, but I know that these guys are definitely going to end up getting one of these. And they're going to absolutely own the Ark. You can build a super fortress on it. It's going to be absolutely amazing. The Titanosaurs are mainly employed as a mobile super fortress. are capable of ferrying obscene amounts of weight, structures, defences and creatures across the island. This thing is definitely going to dominate the Ark. It is absolutely insane, especially compared to the Giga. Everyone was scared of the Giga. 
now everyone's definitely going to be scared of this. It's just the absolute king of the arc. It is huge compared to everything else. It is absolutely insane and is a perfect addition to the game. It's going to change so many things, the way the game plays. And I like how you tame this guy. It's very unique and a lot different. This is the first dino in the game that supposedly gets knocked out by catapults. Well, apparently so. I'm not too sure, it definitely states that it is pretty much immune to any a narcotic effect, so knocking it out with some sort of heavy object seems to be the only option. All in all, this new Colossal Beast is going to change the game forever, bringing in a whole load of new tactics and game changing features, this new beast is sure to dominate the arc. So looking at the patch notes, we have three new items and three new structures. The three new items consist of a gas mask. Herbivore, Tasty Cakes and Chain Bowler Ammo for Ballista Turrets. Gas Masks are going to keep you immune for, to the gases in Jungle Caves and Narcotic Grenades, which is going to help a lot in raiding. Herbivore Tasty Cakes, I think that's something similar to the Prime Meat for Carnivores. Obviously these are for herbivores and you'll be able to make these with some sort of food, concoction of berries and vegetables or maybe you just find them from gathering plants. And the last but not least of the new items, we have the Chain Bowler Ammo for Blister Turret. I think this is just going to be a rapid fire version of the already existing bowler, allowing you to trap a lot more things at once, or possibly maybe a larger sized bowler which has the potential to trap a Kano or maybe even a Rex. Okay, so we also have three new structures. We have retractable rope ladders, tree sap taps, wood and metal tree platforms. So the retractable ladder is something that I've wanted for a long time, even though I've never actually thought about it until I've seen it in the upcoming notes. But I know that is something that is greatly going to benefit me. I do like moving type of objects in the game. This is going to be one of the first type of moving sort of structure, so to speak. You know, you'll be able to roll this ladder down, climb back up it and use it instead of placing uh, a number of ladders and having to destroy them afterwards if you want nobody else to get up. Uh, tree sap taps uh, adds tree sap into the game. I do not know what tree sap is used for. Possibly used for the herbivore tasty cakes, maybe used in crafting the berries and putting the vegetables together, sticking them together with the tree sap. I'm not too sure or maybe it might work similar to the way a penguin's organic polymer works through normal polymer. Last but not least of the structures we have wood and metal tree platforms. This is something I'm very excited to see because we'll now be able to build big good quality tree houses in the redwood forest biome which is going to be really really awesome. I'm hoping that you won't be able to knock down the massive trees so you can actually build a house there without worrying for the tree to fall down. I don't think it is going to fall down personally but if it doesn't that's going to be great. I'm going to be able to build my own sort of you know tree house type of network of all these rope ladders and bridges going all over the place. It's going to be great. We have two new mechanics, that is the custom tripwire alarm notifications. This works via survivethearc.com, I'm not too sure how it works but people can upload um, custom systems which send you a notification via email or on your phone or something, I'm not too sure, it somehow sends you a message to let you know when your base is getting raided, so if you're offline and you obviously, like if you're not playing the game and you're on your computer, it'll give you a notification saying your base is under attack something similar to that and you can quickly log in and defend it. We also have breeding mechanics phase 3 which consists of random mutations and family trees. Now I'm pretty sure this won't get released in this update, it has been delayed in the last 2 or 3 updates so you know this thing does take a long time to develop so I wouldn't be banking on it or expecting this to actually come in within this release but if it does that's obviously going to be a win, that's going to be great and we're finally going to be able to get phase 3 of the breeding mechanics. The obvious one here is the snow extension and redwood forest that is also coming in this update so anybody in the redwood forest area who is there now be sure to move because this update is going to be here pretty soon and you're going to lose everything. There's also ruins and explorer notes which are added in the redwood forests so you'll be able to find ruins around and explorer notes which you will probably end up getting a note every time you finish, um, explore a temple or a ruin giving you some sort of history to arc maybe or some sort of like a better feel to the game giving you some sort of storyline maybe into how arc was created or who created the temples give you some sort of idea 
to what actually happened on this island. Last but not least, uh, underneath all the other performance changes and everything, we have two options or two features that have been slightly altered and changed. So there's now an option to disable inventory sounds, which people found annoying before. So people who get annoyed with the inventory sounds, you can now change it and disable them so you don't have the clicking and the you know the rummaging bag opening noise or whatever type of noise it makes. I can't really remember. I didn't really pay much attention to the sound. And bald Dodeacruses are no longer invincible to tame dino melee attacks. They now are just very resistant to them. So you can attack somebody's Dodeacrus with your Rex and it is now possible to kill it. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, shape or form, don't hesitate to leave a like. Quick message to all my subscribers, I am going to be away from the 20th, no, the 18th to the 24th. I am going to be having a week with my family down in some caravan park. I haven't seen my dad's side of the family in quite some time and it's going to be a good catch up. I'm going to spend a week there down in Devon so there will be no uploads during that week so you can expect to see more videos sometime after the 24th probably be about the 25th or 26th I do have a few videos planned to record on Pooptopia I need to get a new quet I want to explore the jungle caves and also check out the new redwoods biome which will be there by the time I get back and to everyone else be sure to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content